Blue Gimbal. Okay. Uh, this is the standard. This is the standard mode. Um, I am just uh, flying around, using the touch input controls, and uh, flying through the hoops. And boy, is it a blast! Trying to find it. But you know, um, it's not really turning as fast as I'd like. So I'm going to go into the menu, and I am going to adjust the intensity of these controls. Like so. Just doing a blanket across the board increase. Of course, if you want, you can save these with that button there. Alright, so let's start over. Now I accelerate much faster. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of fun. But you know what's really fun is to forget the controls completely and use the gyroscope to fly through the, uh, you know, to fall around, fly through the hoops. So that is just the keeping load of fun, especially when you get going really fast. But, uh, you know, while that in and of itself would be a lot of fun, we're going to do something a little bit crazy. Here, this is the uh, MOGA. Ace Power Game Controller, fully supported. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do, let's start over. All right, now we get to use our Game Controller. And, uh, you know, this is good sometimes. You want that added uh, ability to um, you know, maybe you don't want to turn all the way around, maybe you're sitting on the couch, but you still also want to use some of the gyroscope. Also, what's nice about this is um, you can, there's 16 buttons on this thing, including joysticks, no, not including the pause button. And you can go in and change the sensitivity for all of these different uh, inputs. Not only can you change the sensitivity, you can change which button does what. So six degrees of freedom. You can change rotation or movement. Uh, I am going to reset controls to default. Oh no, it's closed my thing. That's too bad. Um, so, fully customizable with the gamepad. <coughs> um, and uh, that is just on the fun. Now, if that wasn't enough for you, there is a huge additional feature that we have here. And that is the stereoscopic part. So for people who have an Oculus Rift development kit, please uh, try this out. Let me know what you think. I don't actually have one. Um, OK, let's slow down. But yeah, so with the controls, we can go, we can also go left and right. Um, let's see, we've got up and down, you know, not that big of a deal, but uh, it's kind of fun to play around with. You know, all the different buttons, you can reassign to do whatever you want. Hey, some other cool things about the app are the social integration. So, uh, well, I'll hit the, I would hit the login button, but that would pull me out of full screen. But, you know, there's leaderboards, oh yeah. One of my favorites, rolling. Um, there's leaderboards, uh, and you know you can post to your wall and share with all your friends. What a cool experience this is. Okay, um, now so here's the fun part: stereoscopic baby. Um, if you have the Oculus Rift or the Vrace headset or any of maybe you've 3D printed yourself a field of view to go uh, headset. There's also the Dervis Drive. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Lots of different um, stereoscopic viewers. But uh, so if you have one of those headsets, 
and you, you know, have the phone uh, right up against your face with the lenses, then you really have a virtual reality experience. It's, uh, I'd imagine it's, it's quite compelling. I ordered my Vrace. It's not going to come in a while, but I'm pretty excited about it. There's also one on Kickstarter right now called Scope X S C O P E. Um, so yeah, stereoscopic, and uh, it's not really a lot of content out there right now that does this. Sorry about the jitter in the video. I am using um, uh, Air Server, and I've got my phone doing a um, Wi-Fi hotspot that my computer is using. And so that's how I'm mirroring this. But if you were actually using the HDMI connection, it would be much better, obviously. Um, you know, you can't tell from the video, but there's really not a lot of latency, I don't think. Um, so it's a great app, buy it. It's called Gyro Troller. And um, uh, yeah, pretty cool, thanks. From Blue Gimbal. Um, a couple of other things I forgot to mention. Uh, the, the hand controller here, um, uh, I think, would be a great thing to use with an Oculus Rift or a um, uh, Brace headset. Um, you know, you need to have both the video output and the controller input at the same time to really get what I think would be the best uh, the best thing. I tried using one of these uh, AV adapters. So what I did was I, I you got to take out the um, little plate here that adapts it for the iPhone and uh, plug in this into the Moga controller. Um, and then use the lightning connection and plug it into the phone. An interesting thing happens when you do this. Um, let's move it away. Well, because I got the hotspot running, it already has a blue bar. It, it doesn't work. That's the point. Um, for one reason or another, the signal isn't making it through this thing. So for an Oculus Rift, that would be a problem. Uh, for the Vrace, it probably wouldn't be a problem because you could probably use a lightning extension cable, which Apple doesn't sell them, but Google it and you can get them on the internet. Uh, so you use this headset in the Scope or the Brace or the Hasbro My3D Viewer or the Dervis Drive and um, run a lightning extension cable to your controller and uh, you're good to go. You've got this you know, head tracking virtual reality thing with the hand controller, so you've got the six degrees of freedom 